In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can create a passive income source using print on demand. And I'm talking true passive income, something that you set up once and you pretty much just forget about it. It's gonna be making you money over time. Now, of course, if you do wanna make more money and you wanna scale, then you're gonna start putting in a little bit more work. But pretty much what happens with print on demand is we're gonna create a few products and we're gonna let those start selling themselves. For this, we're gonna be using a marketplace to sell on, one that already has organic traffic going to it. So we're not gonna be focusing on our own website. Rather, we're gonna be focusing on a platform like Etsy or eBay. We're gonna to try to keep this as cheap as possible to start. So this is what we're gonna need. We're gonna need, first of all, an account with either Etsy or eBay, whichever one you prefer. My personal preference to sell print on demand products is always gonna be Etsy, but eBay also works. You just have to focus on the types of products that work on each platform. So for example, on Etsy, you're gonna be selling a lot of t-shirts, hoodies, tumblers, phone cases, things of that nature. Whereas on eBay, you're gonna be focusing a bit more on things like home goods, hoodies, certain accessories, and a few other things. Now that's where we're gonna sell on. Now our supplier for print on demand, for this, we're gonna be using AutoDS. So one of the best things about AutoDS is that if you're not signed up just yet, you can check us out and get a two week trial period for just $1. Don't miss. And trust me when I say two weeks is more than enough time to be able to start making enough money to actually be able to reinvest and take on a monthly plan rather than just using a free trial. Because remember, we're in this for the long term, not just for a couple weeks and just getting out of it. We're looking to create a source of passive income, something that's pretty much just going to keep sustaining itself and paying for itself. Now to start, we're going to choose some fairly simple products, some of the more traditional print on demand products. We're going to focus right now on t-shirts and hoodies. And most importantly, we're also going to be offering onesies. A huge hit on Etsy is always going to be baby clothes and onesies are huge on there. So make sure you add those as well to your store. Now let's do a little bit of math and let's figure out what we're going to sell these for. So let's run over to Etsy and let's take, for example, a hoodie. My favorite print on demand product is always going to be a hoodie because you can source it for pretty cheap and you can sell it for pretty expensive. Hoodies a lot of the times can be sold easily for about 60 bucks. So let's take a look at something that's currently trending. So one design right now that is very popular is the In My Era design. So let's look up In My Mom Era hoodie. And these are the ones that are currently out. Okay, so these right here are pretty basic. They just have a really basic text in the front. And these are running for $37. They're on sale down from $57. That's not bad at all. Now let's compare some more prices. What else can we find? These cheap ones that are only $2.50, as you can see, they're digital downloads. So we can actually download these to use as designs for our hoodies or our shirts or whatever it is that we're selling. So then they have this one as well. This one's $25 and it's also pretty simple. It just has the text on the front and a customizable sleeve. This mom era hoodie is running for $35 as well, down from 56, 57. And this one seems to be running for 25. So let me check something really fast. All right, so let's do a extra large. All right, there we go, so hoodies. Okay, so their hoodies are actually running about 28 to $30. All right, yeah. So let's say $30 down from 55. Okay, so on average, we can say that we can sell our hoodies for about 30 to $35. One pro tip, don't be afraid to charge a little bit more than others. It's totally fine. People aren't gonna completely stray away from your store just because your product is $5 more than somebody else's. So let's run back over to AutoDS and let's check out the hoodies that we have available. So we have one here that starts off at 16 to $20. Then we have another one, which is a little bit more expensive. This one runs from 25 to 30. Of course, this is a higher quality hoodie, so it could be warmer, it could be softer. But realistically speaking, we would be okay with the basic one. All right, so we'll be perfectly fine with this one right here. This is the G18500. I believe this is a Gildan brand. Now, what are we gonna do? Let's see, we're gonna, let's do a, let's do black, I like black. Size to start, let's just do large and let's edit our product. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna print it on the back, so let's click on the back. I'm actually gonna switch this over to white because my design is black. So let's upload our design. All right, let's adjust it. This is a little bit too big. So let me make it just a little bit smaller, something that'll fit nice and centered, fills up the majority of it, perfect. So in my boy mom era, let's go ahead and hit save. And that's pretty much all there is to it. So now let's run over to our draft section and we have our unisex hoodie here. Now what we need to do is go ahead and optimize our title, switch up our description, add a couple of keywords on there, make it a bit more interesting. But what we're gonna be focusing on right now is the price. So let's click on edit in one of these so we can see everything in detail. And you can see that we're sourcing it for $16. Now let's run out of here really fast. Let's go back to product. And under the shipping methods, this is something really important. We need to choose our shipping method. So this hoodie is gonna cost us $8 to ship standard. We also have the option for expedited, but really it's only a two day difference. 
So it's not anything crazy. All right, so now that we set our shipping, let's run back over to our variations, click on edit again. And now this is what we need to factor in. So we need to factor in our shipping. So we said it was gonna be $7. So as far as fees, I like to add it over here. So essentially it's gonna be $16 plus our $7 fee for shipping. Then aside from that, let's go ahead and actually remove the fee percentage here and let's remove this profit percentage. So right now we're buying it at $16 and we're adding a $7 fee, which is gonna be our shipping fee. So in total, we're gonna be spending $23. Now our sell price is right now at $23.30. So we're only making a 30 cent profit. Obviously that's not gonna be worth it. So let's go ahead and set this to a price like what we had seen on Etsy. So let's do this for $35. So for each hoodie, if we're selling it at $35, we can go ahead and make a profit of $12. But what they were doing is they actually had it at $55. So the total profit is $32. Now what you can do is you can run a sale for that same product and bring it down to $35. So that way it looks like the item is on sale. Every once in a while, you can let it go back up to its original price. I highly suggest you do that because people will still buy it at that price. Not as much, obviously, but some people will. And then just start another sale a few weeks after and bring the price back down. All right, so now that we know what we're going to do, let's go ahead and select everything. Let's click on edit. And over here, our sell price is going to simply be $55. Let's go ahead and update that. All of our prices are updated to 55. Now, once we have our product title and our description all optimized and how we like it, all we have to do is click on save and import. So that way the item can go live on our store and ready for people to start buying it. Now this is one type of design that you wanna to add to your store to start making a passive income store. This is pretty much capitalizing on trends that are currently happening. So we're gonna make this product go live. We're gonna make a few other variations to it, maybe three or four more, some on hoodies and some on t-shirts, change up some of the different colors as well, change up the designs, and then we're gonna make them go live and just let them do their thing. If they sell, great. If they don't, that's totally fine. We're not really losing anything. But the ones that do start selling, those are going to start getting more and more sales because as they sell, more people are going to start noticing it. More people start noticing it, more people start leaving reviews, and then little by little, it's pretty much just going to be sustaining itself. It's a beautiful design. It's a custom design. At least until this trend dies down, which is eventually going to happen. That's something that's inevitable on e-commerce, but now let me actually tell you a way to be able to combat that. So like I said, one way we can start making some passive income is by capitalizing on current niches. Again, at least until they die down. But there's also some other trends that are yearly, and these are seasonal trends. So holidays, these are gonna be your huge money makers. Start coming up with certain designs for Christmas, St. Patrick's Day, New Year's, and start uploading them to your stores. One or two months before the actual holiday, that's when people are gonna start looking for these products, and that's when you're really gonna start making sales. Now, the best thing about this is that year after year, the same design can do really well and it can make you a lot of money. For the past three or four years, I've had a St. Patrick's Day design on my Etsy store on a basic crop top. Every single year, I make a minimum of maybe seven or $800 on Etsy with that one design alone. Lucky bastard. Now, while it might not seem like a lot, that's just one design. There's a few other designs that are also selling, bringing in more money, and it's all just compounding on top of each other. But again, you need to come up with multiple designs. Don't just stick to one or two. Make as many as you can. Make different variations. Get creative and think outside the box. Let me show you another example. So let's go with a t-shirt this time. Let's go with this one. This is another Gildan. Let's go ahead and edit the product. All right, let's go ahead and upload this one. This one's going to go in the front. Let's also change the color. I'm going to make this one black. And that's what it looks like. I love this design. All right, so let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and save it. Optimize the title, optimize the description, change up the price. This one I'm going to sell for about $23. That's typically what I sell my t-shirts for, $23, and I'll have them on sale for the lowest being $18. Typically, they'll have them between $20 to $21. And this is the listing. So in this case, I'm actually selling on eBay, but here we have the different variations, which is really just the white and the dark gray or the heather gray. You got the color, you have the size, selling it right now for $55. And we have our description. As you can see, the description is really basic. You want to add a few more things. You want to make it a bit nicer. And you know what I just noticed? Actually, this is all information on the print on demand supplier. I have to change this right now. So as soon as I finish with this video, I need to change this. But I'm showing you this one. And we also have this one, which is the St. Patrick's Day puking leprechaun shirt, which is my absolute favorite. So how does this help us create a passive income source? Well, it's print on demand. At the end of the day, once you have your listings up, you don't have to do anything. The only thing you have to do is focus on customer service and coming up with new designs and new products. Whenever you make one of these products live on your store, once somebody places that order, you don't even have to go to your supplier and place the order yourself. If you're using AutoDS, the entire thing is gonna be automated for you. So the customer places their order at your store, 
that order is going to automatically be rerouted to your printer or to your supplier and they're going to take care of the entire fulfillment then they're going to update you with the tracking number which is also going to be automatically updated to your customer so at the end of the day you don't have to do anything except answer any questions that the customer might have now the first design that we made is capitalizing on current trends so this can make you money for a month maybe it can make you money for five or six months it's really going to depend on how long that trend lasts now the second design that i showed you that's more evergreen that's something that can get you sales year after year and the more designs that you can put up the more chances that you have at making more sales now aside from those two there's one more super evergreen niche that you need to look into and that's going to be event shirts so shirts for things like baby showers or birthdays so i just simply looked up baby shower shirts on etsy and for me it's going to show a lot of images because i search up images more than i do actual products like t-shirts and hoodies but let me show you exactly what i mean so the reason is because people are going to be buying these in sets so as you can see this file if you purchase this then you have access to not one but actually one two three six eleven different designs and the reason for that is because when somebody looks for these shirts when somebody looks for a baby shower shirt or something like a birthday shirt they're not looking for just one they're looking for multiple they're looking for something that the whole family can wear just look at this one this one has promoted to mommy promoted to grandma one for the aunt the dad the grandpa the uncle the brother the sister cousin the pappy the papa anything you can think of people are going to be purchasing these kinds of shirts and sets at a minimum you can expect people to buy three typically it'll be one for the birthday person and maybe two for the mom and dad or one for the mom or the dad and maybe one of the grandparents and just a lot of people so if you start varying your store and filling it up with these three different types of designs then you're going to slowly but surely start setting up a consistent flow of income some designs are going to be making you money at certain times of the year others are going to be right at the moment and others are going to be throughout the entire year and if you want to scale and keep adding more money just simply keep adding more designs and more products even more and more and more now that's how you can create your own passive income source using print on demand let me know what you thought of this video down in the comments below i want to hear your thoughts on the topic do you like print on demand do you like or believe in the concept of passive income is this something that you want to start let me know down in the comments below i would love to hear your thoughts on this huge thank you to her for watching especially if you made it all the way to the end as always it's greatly appreciated and if you made it this far then obviously you liked the video so please make sure you smash that like button hit that subscribe button and ring that little bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos it really does help me and it helps the channel and it helps us keep on growing so please if you did enjoy the video make sure you do one or all three of those once again my name is mario with auto ds huge thank you to everyone for watching best of luck on your print on demand journeys and catch you guys next time